So that's to each other, the last sheen. And welcome to um, another video. Like, I got a lot of things to say in this video, like, but mainly it's a test. A test of the new 15 minute time limit. Because uh, according to YouTube, things have been up to 15 minutes, but uh, at the same time, I don't you know, trust YouTube fully, and I figured I should throw some kind of test before I start changing all my Let's Plays to uh, the new 15 minute time cap. And also, as you can see, I'm not in my room. I just had to move things out to the uh, computer area for now, mainly because the tripod and the camera were all by my computer, so it seems silly to move everything back into my room. And also, I can sit down. As uh, Winston Churchill said, never stand when you can sit, and never sit when you can lie down. But, what I really wanted to talk about in this video log is um, a lot of people, I'm getting a ton of messages of people asking me for my StarCraft beta key, or not, not a beta key, it's like um, a trial key and it gives you seven hours of playtime. Um, I, I, I believe it's both single player and multiplayer. And I've already given one out, I gave one out to the guy who gave me a beta key for the Medal of Honor beta and I thought it, he asked me for a StarCraft beta key and I thought it would be really rude of me to deny him, you know, uh, a StarCraft key when he was kind enough to give me that Medal of Honor key. So I gave one to him, and uh, I didn't. I don't know what I'm gonna do with this last one. And I posted that on my Facebook, and someone said, you know, or someone said, if you want another beta key, or if you want more keys, uh, I'll give you mine because every copy of StarCraft that you get comes with the two um, StarCraft and the two Warcraft keys and I thought hey that's a good idea that if you've got two keys sitting around that you don't have you know anyone to give to any if you don't you don't have anybody to give them to why don't you give them to me and then I'll redistribute them to you know the people who want to you know try these keys not like I mean like if you give them to me I don't have any use for them and I know that there's a lot of people out there that are really interested in StarCraft, but they probably want to try it out before they uh, lay down the $60. And I know that a lot of people have already bought it, and they might not have a use for these free StarCraft and WarCraft keys. So I figured, why not give them to me, and then I will give them out to people who, who want them. And then, then again, you can, I guess, cut out the middleman and just give them to people if you know like people to give them to but if you don't know anyone to give them to or you don't have anybody to give them to I'll take them and redistribute them the only problem is I can't figure out a fair and equal opportunistic way to distribute uh, these beta keys if I get them from you know from the fans so people suggested tournaments but um, I think that's way too uh, way too much work uh, for me right now I, I'm lost, so if anyone's got an idea of how I can equally distribute, you know, these beta keys, that'd be great, but for now, what I'm looking for is if you don't have anyone to give those StarCraft and WarCraft beta keys to, or not, I keep calling them beta keys, even though it's not a beta, those trial keys to, send them over to me, so then we can redistribute them among the population, and, you know, give them to people who, do, who want to check out StarCraft before they buy it, and hopefully then we'll get more people playing the game uh, online with us. So, that's step one, um, and then step two is I gotta find an uh, equal way to distribute these keys to everybody. So, let's fulfill step one first, if you don't have anyone to give these, uh, anyone to give these keys to, give them to me and then we'll find some kind of way to give them out to everybody who wants them because I'm getting a ton of messages of people who want who want these keys so I figured this is the best way to ensure that everyone who or at least most people who want one are gonna get one now that being said in terms of StarCraft that game is awesome like uh, I'm having a ton of fun with it uh, the only problem is um, I'm waiting on like cool custom maps there's a couple of cool custom maps up now, but like when the beta was in full swing, there was a ton of really awesome maps 
So, you know, you got to wait a couple weeks before people really get those uh, awesome custom maps out there. But I'm excited for them, and I can't wait for people to really, uh, really, you know, flex their creativity and get some awesome maps out there. And uh, as well, now I've got like 50 people signed up on my, my Battle.net list. I ended up uh, throwing some kind of gigantic uh, 8, or not 8 versus 8, uh, 4 versus 4 with 8 people from YouTube. So we all got together and did um, an epic uh, battle with one another. And that worked out well for the most part, except when people lagged out or left the game inexplicably. And then, you know, it screwed up the balance. Well, for the most part, that was pretty fun, um, having this big uh, 4 versus 4 Titanic duel. And, but, uh, and the campaign is fantastic. Just having the ability to come in and, and you know, talk to everyone. Like, they really fleshed out the world. Like, and I, I loved the story from the first StarCraft, but it was presented in uh, a way, and I can understand it, because considering it was like, you know, 12, 13 years ago, but, you know, looking back, it wasn't presented in the most, you know, flashy uh, way, but the story was fantastic, and the gameplay was great, but the story wasn't presented very well. And now, like, the story is presented, you know, phenomenally. It's like, it feels like Mass Effect in a lot of ways to me, just because, like I said, it's in the future, and, you know, it's in the sci-fi universe, the only difference, and, you know, you're watching these dialogue conversations. The only difference is you're not choosing your own dialogue. But, uh, it feels, you know, like they, they just, like, they had some massive, like, influences while they were making that game, and it's really cool. I mean, now it's the difference between, like, in the first StarCraft, it's like somebody was reading the story to you, and in the second one, now you're watching a movie of the story. And uh, the change is great. And what else? Also looking into uh, finishing Hearts of Iron 2 today, hopefully, if I can get all the recording done. And um, get, that, get that done. That'd be great. Let's see how much time I have left. Well, I still have plenty of time. Like I said, this is a test for 15 minutes. So sorry if I start rambling on and on and on. Um, I'm just trying to make sure that this, you know, it is going to go above the traditional cap, so I can test it. But Hearts of Iron 2, going to finish that today, hopefully. I've got lots of StarCraft footage edited and, and ready to go. So, once that's, I'm going to record Hearts of Iron today, and then um, hopefully be able to get those last parts out to you. Also, people are wondering when... Uh, my review copy of Victoria 2 is coming. Um, Victoria 2 will be coming, according to uh, to Shams over Paradox and uh, PR. He he tells me that I'll I'll get it uh, either August 6th or August 7th. Hopefully, then we can look forward to some early uh, footage for Victoria 2, which will be awesome. And um, beyond that. You should probably stay tuned for after the Hearts of Iron Let's Play, because that from there we're going to talk about where we're going to go from uh, Hearts of Iron 2 and what we want to do from there, what game we want to showcase after that. So stay tuned for that. And also, I really love now that if it if it if it's true, I'm still not convinced that it's true that this new 50 minute time limit is implemented because then it's. You know, less parts for a Let's Play, it's less hassle for me to edit things and put them into playlists and that kind of idea. And also, um, I think the part I'm most excited about is uh, for the coffee house videos. Now that I've got an extra five minutes, uh, maybe I can... It's tough to say everything you want to say uh, in a coffee house video in ten minutes. It's really tough to do that. And so I end up talking really, really fast and you know trying to get everything I can in this 10 minutes so now with this new 15 minute time limit I can hopefully say you know, more stuff or, or talk a little bit slower and you know be able to actually collect my thoughts mid video which will be great and I really wish like uh, for those videos that I had like a desk or something like right now I'm just sitting in front of the camera and I've got a little table here with a coke on it but um 
I really wish I had like a desk or something that I could sit behind and then I'd wear like a suit and t a suit and tie every for every one of those videos. So and uh look great. Also uh got a new background for the for the Coffee S channel. Uh somebody made it for me. We're still it, it looks great, but um there's a couple things I'd I'd like to change with it. But uh so I I definitely want to uh, thank him for that. Also um I'm working on it. I'm trying to work on a, a little intro for my StarCraft Battle Reports. Something uh, a little cool. And I know I asked um, people for if they're if they're any good at Flash, if they're any good at animation, and I'll tell you why. Because what I want to do, if you watched my first Battle Report, you see that I I had like little frames. That had um, you know the the team names and stuff on them. What I what I really want to do is someone to create like an animation of like a cool frame that like opens up or something. It's in like some kind of it looks like you know it kind of looks futuristic or robotic, and it's just like a like a you know starts in a little ball or something, then opens up and deploys this cool looking frame or something like that, and then the names will appear, and then you know the frame will close up and disappear or something like that. Some just kind of cool animation to make things look you know a little bit more professional, a little bit more you know effort. Because like I say, those little things really do matter and are really important. So. Again, still looking for people to help me uh, with with flash animation. I got a couple people who sent me messages, but um, you know, if you got any skill at all using flash or any kind of other animation tool, please uh, message me and uh, we'll we'll hash something out. What do we got here? Twelve minutes. I think that should be good enough. So I'm I'm clearly running out of stuff to say. So let's hope that this thing goes up now with the new um, time cap and everything. And it's going to be Joseph Stalin signing off for now. And you guys take care.